for a good novel. Yeah, I know. We had class together two years ago. You wrote that really good uh, piece on women's rights. It was, um, it was really, really good. That thing? I, that was nothing. Well, thanks, but, um... Hey, do you wanna... Sit yourself. Well, come on, man, sit down. I won't bite you. What's a fool like you doing at a college party? I was told I had to go harder in college. That's why my man Mark took me and his girl here. I never go out this far, though. Well, welcome to paradise, my man. Everybody's pretty chill here. I mean, if you want to be cool. Uh... James. Uh, it, it, it's James, by the way. Far out. All right. Hey. Do you want to go to the max? It'll totally help your stick, man. Come on, chill out. It'll help with your writing, too. That's what I do. Um. All right. Let's do it. Dream on. So, you got a girl? A guy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. That's why I'm here. Mark was supposed to be my wingman, and so he and his little bunny got it on. So, so I'm supposed to be chilling. So no girl, no guy, no one. It's all good, man. I got you. <laughs> you ever thought that maybe we ain't the only ones out here? I mean, what the hell are stars anyway? Explosions? I don't know, I mean, I always wanted to believe they were our loved ones. <laughs> That would be pretty rad. I like to think they tell us who we are. Like that one. That one tells me that you're a shy, reserved guy who just wants to be someone important. I see myself in that too.
you know, all these people think I'm so groovy and just want to get lost, but all I really want is a home. Never had a home of my own before. And man, I don't know, it's just these parties, they give out love and acceptance. And I've never been cared for like that before. It used to be where I could just get lost and it didn't matter, but now I have friends. And we're all just trying to find our home. I always thought being lost was like following the stars anyway. You always end up where you're meant to be. <laughs> it's totally rad. So yeah, they tell us our future and we decide whether we want to pursue it or get caught up in all the hate. I choose love. And it doesn't matter who you are, I just want it in full. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs>
exactly why I told you not to take Dr. Jacob's lab this early. I'm sorry, but who are- you? Whatever, man. It's fine. Just get dressed, because Jacob is coming over later to hang, and you promised you'd be gone. But I don't know where I well, am. Well, you better figure something out, because- What about that new guy? What's his name? James? <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. Ask him out. Uh, okay, where's the phone? What? You did not lose your phone. What the hell did you do last night? You know what? It's fine. Here. There. Text him. Do what? Text him. Hey. Hey, um, James? Yeah, what's up? It's, uh, it's Mary. We met at the party last night. Um, can we talk? Yeah, you good in like an hour? Um, yeah, I, I guess. Cool, I'll text you where at. Cool beans. Uh, okay. Hey, what's up? Hey, um, this is gonna sound absurd. Absurd? What's absurd? Okay, um, how, how long have we known each other? I don't know, about six months. So I can trust you? Sure. What's up? Something's been happening to me. I can't figure it out. I, people keep calling me M, and everyone's different, but they're not, and I- Whoa, hold on a second. What? I'm in this dream state. I, I, one second I'm going to bed in 1973, and I wake up and it's 2019. Are you tripping on something? Do you need some help? I'm not joking. My name is Mary Robertson, and I'm a student of Baymont University, class of 74. Oh my god. You think you're Mary Robertson, the girl who died in 1973? No one knows how this girl disappeared and now you wake up and think you're reincarnated from 1970? You're crazy.
Ah, Monteri, you have awoken to your new life. How did you get me here? Why are you doing this? It's funny. They always ask why. They never stop to think about the answer they already know. You just don't want to hear it. I want you. Not like that, but I want to be you. Anyways, I'm not who you think I am. I'm not your knight in shining armor or a long lost love, and I'm not from 1973, but that guy did have some good ideas, didn't he? And when I saw you, I knew you were the one. The one that James wrote about in all those books. There was always one girl he talked about. One person he wanted to thank and show gratitude to. He loved her for her sacrifice. So I guess he did love you or her or whatever you think you are. <coughs> so basically, I'm going to be him. Not exactly him, but... I'm going to pretend to be him for just a moment, and I am going to take your life. Don't worry. It'll be quick. And who knows? Maybe in 40 years, I'll inspire someone else. I mean, he was a spokesperson, a visionary, a man for someone who... people like me, who... society is outcast and told that this is all we're ever going to be. <laughs> Nothing. Emptiness. Alone. But now I have a future. I have a future and a life that you wrote for me. Your words, your stories, you've written it all out for me. <coughs> <coughs> what, you think I haven't already killed you? You're going to die the same way that she lived with drugs popping through your veins. Ironic, isn't it? In about two minutes, you're going to be dead. The only question is how. You can suffer and wait until the poison gets into your lungs and suffocates you to death. Or you can go out easy with one quick stab. So. What will it be? <coughs> Thanks. I didn't want to clean up all that mess anyway. again. See you on the other side, Em. <laughs>